This is how to never forget the AA gradient. You just need to remember a waterfall. The river on the top is alveolar oxygen, your P big A, O, T. Whereas the river on the bottom is your arterial oxygen, the P little A, O, T. And the waterfall, that's everything the oxygen has to cross. The alveolar membrane, the interstitium, the capillary wall. The AA gradient tells us how well oxygen gets from the alveolus into that capillary blood. So it's useful for determining the causes of hypoxia. We tend to split it into two scenarios, a high AA or a normal or low AA. By the way, comment respiratory for some free pages of my Never Forget Respiratory Guide. When it's high, it means there's plenty of oxygen at the top. The alveoli are full of oxygen, but it's not getting through to the blood. As soon as the water goes over the edge, it all messes up. That's because the rocks in the waterfall are too thick. For example, a diffusion defect like pulmonary fibrosis, or because the stream at the bottom is poorly connected to the water flow. We're typically thinking of VQ mismatch or shunting. Importantly, these patients don't respond well to extra oxygen because the problem isn't about getting extra oxygen. It's about it getting its way into the blood. Whereas a low AA gradient is different. It means there wasn't enough oxygen at the top to begin with. The river's already dry at the top, so unsurprisingly, it's gonna be dry at the bottom as well. So here we're thinking of the causes of alveolar hyperventilation, high altitude causing a reduced fraction of inspired oxygen, or perhaps the oxygen delivery devices aren't working properly. These are the patients most likely to respond to more oxygen. 